Previously, we had a law enforcement first and only strategy, and it wasn't working. We have to treat this epidemic of violence that we're seeing as a public health crisis. Why that framing is important is it will help us really dig down into the root causes of the violence. Previously, we had a law enforcement first and only strategy, and it wasn't working. It's not working when you talk about neighborhoods where the unemployment rate is 25% or higher. It's not working when you think about the fact that in many communities, 90% uh, or more of residents are depending on public assistance and where neighborhoods haven't been invested in, where there's no real legitimate economic activity. So we have to make sure that we are shoring up these neighborhoods by focusing on economic development, filling the wealth and opportunity gap, eliminating food, pharmacy, and healthcare deserts, and all of those things that we take for granted as being important to a good quality of life, we need to make sure that those opportunities and resources are really plentiful all across the city and not just in certain neighborhoods. The fact that you can cross the border, go into Indiana, and purchase military-grade weapons at any number with no background check is a terrible thing, not only uh, for our city, but look at the devastation that gun violence is wreaking every single day in our community. So the only way we're really going to get at that problem in, a, in a, a profound way to make a substantial difference is to have federal laws in place that require background checks and strengthen the penalties for um, people who pick up guns and cause uh, wreak havoc in our community. I'm a black woman who grew up in a low-income family. I'm a woman whose brother spent most of his uh, adult life uh, incarcerated. So I understand the importance of making sure that our criminal justice system is fair and just. I'm also a person who spent a lot of time um, in community of victims and witnesses and understanding the devastation that crime and violence wreaks on individuals, families, and communities. So I think I have the experiences and the tools um, to strike the right balances, but also make sure that we're holding our police department accountable. I led the Police Accountability Task Force. We made a number of recommendations for change that were not implemented, and I'm gonna make sure that we continue down the necessary but hard work of reforming our police department so it has legitimacy in the eyes of our community because we have forged those important relationships. This is really a public health crisis and we have to treat it as such. Of course, law enforcement has an important role to play. We have way too many guns on our street, but what we need to do is strengthen neighborhoods. When we strengthen neighborhoods, when we bring in economic development, where we have a good school system, where we provide people with access to health care, groceries, pharmacies, mental health services, all of those things are the building blocks of good, stable communities. If we focus more on those efforts, and we will, we're gonna see, I think, violence reduce in our city.